I came home from my seventh deployment as a United States Marine Infantry Unit Leader. I was a combat meritorious promoted staff sergeant. I was a rock star. I was put up on a pedestal. The six deployments prior to that, that were combat deployments caught up to me. Because I had to start facing the reality of some of the injuries I had, I wasn't able to be that Marine anymore. Instead, I became a recovering service member. I went from a position of being in charge of many great Marines, having a, a mission, an identity, and a purpose, to being almost, in my eyes, nothing. I felt lost. I had no hope whatsoever. I had to face the fact that there might be something not okay with me. Everything pointed to traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress, things that Marines kind of look at as, as, a, as a weakness. Uh, I tried to reintegrate with my family that I really didn't know and I really didn't understand. So when Brandon returned, I was expecting a warm, happy husband, a happy father, but what we got was a really mad man very angry. It was easy to shut down and not deal with things. And then when things got too much, I would explode with just anger and rage. Obviously, that's not the way to be a father and a, a husband in a house. My kids were scared of me. They had to walk on eggshells when, when I was around. My wife and I, we, we just never talked. I felt very alone. My husband's always mad. I didn't have anyone to talk to just felt very sad. I made the decision to go to Mighty Oaks. I felt a big change in me. I no longer was looking on the outside as far as why everybody else is the problem and, and they're the issue. I was looking at myself, that I was the problem, I was the issue. Everything that was going wrong in, in my life at that time between my family and my friends was because of me. I started accepting what they were teaching. I started listening more intently, and I was eager to learn. I needed Jesus in my life. That was the start. I needed to have a strong foundation, not the Marine Foundation, sort of an unspoken guideline of what a tough Marine is. It's the, the strongest, the fastest, who can drink the most, who can mess with the most girls. That's, that's the tough guy. Being a Christian man in, in, the, in the Marine Corps sometimes isn't, isn't popular. Sometimes those guys are ridiculed and bullied. They're looked at like they couldn't be trusted. So because now I'm starting to think of these changes that I need to make in my life, while still being a Marine, I have an internal battle. I began to argue with myself whether or not I could make some of the changes that needed to be made when I went home. But the type of personality that I have is I have to be all in or not in. So after the program was done, I had to make the decision, the hard decision that enough's enough and I need to go home and fight for my family. So I immediately went home and started making new choices and changes. So when Brandon returned home from Mighty Oaks, it was really confusing. He didn't tell me too much about what went on up there. We went out to dinner and, you know, I went to order a bottle of wine and he tells me he doesn't drink anymore. I'm like, what? This is so weird. Okay. Then our dinner comes out and he's praying over our food. I didn't have Jesus in my life, so I didn't know what he was praying to, what he was praying for. It was just really strange. It seemed as though he was on this path of righteousness and he was doing so much better and I was just left with all the hurt. I wanted to do everything right. I really wanted to show her that I'm a new Brandon. We were invited back to go to the marriage advance. It was a safe environment for us to really address our problems and really get out our, our hurts. It was the first time we were actually talking. We weren't yelling, screaming, me storming out. We were talking. Even though we were bringing up some of the dark parts of our past, I began to find some healing in it. I was able to ask my wife for forgiveness, which is something I'd never thought about ever before. 
with every class, everyone talked about God and the Bible and Jesus, and I didn't know him, and I didn't have this relationship. At the very last class, Kathy asked everyone if there was anyone in the room who had never accepted Christ into their life. You know, I, I put up my hand kind of halfway, and I just felt so embarrassed. And everyone in the room is so happy for me. And they're clapping, and I knew at that, at that moment I made the right decision. And I was able to develop a relationship with, with Christ. After that, we were able to renew our vows for the foundation of having God. Our home was happy. Our kids were happy. Our kids loved going to church. We loved going to church. I accepted a position with Mighty Oaks Foundation where I'm now the program director. I have a new purpose, I have a new mission, and it's to go out and share my mess that I've turned into a message for other guys, other families, and people that are going through the same things that we went through.